We are here on the banks of the Cheyenne River right now. It is approaching major flood stage very quickly. The river level right now is at 90.4 feet and major flood stage is at 91 feet. So it is very close to major flood stage. As you can see, the waters are very high. The water is actually touching the bottom of this bridge right here. There is a big ice jam on the other side of this railroad bridge and presumably that ice jam will also get caught on this bridge right here as it tries to move down the river. This is also just east of I-29. So we are watching the river levels and making sure that they will not get above I-29 here in the coming hours. With the warm temperatures that we're having, snow melt is accelerating and is a bad situation going on down here. We are here a few miles north of Mapleton and we are on what I guess could be considered the banks of the Maple River. It has now turned into more of a lake. We have a lot of overland flooding going on right now. The river is a couple of inches below major flood stage right now and it is expected to crest right about now. This is about the highest the water will get. There's a lot of debris flowing in the river back here as we have just seen recently and this is covering what seems like miles of farmland right now. A lot of this farmland is going to be unusable for weeks to come as it continues to dry out. It is not a very good situation right now in Mapleton. We are on a country road just south of Mapleton here and as you can see we have a lot of flooding on both sides of the roads but one thing you will notice the water on the right side of the road is much higher than the left side of the road and that is causing a lot of rushing water through a culvert there. You do see the Tornado Getter 2000 in the foreground right there and it is chasing flooding not quite tornadoes this time but still an interesting case nonetheless. We are here just south of downtown Fargo. And as you can see, the Red River behind me is filled up. Now the river is right now at about 33 feet and is expected to crest in the next couple of days at 35 feet, but it does not look like downtown Fargo or any of the neighboring neighborhoods should see any flooding in there. We do have a lot of clearance on the dike down here. As you can see, we have about 10 feet left before we get to the top of the dike from my naked eye observation. And the real effects that we are seeing is in the parks down here that are underwater. A lot of the parks are underwater and a lot of the roads as well through those parks are closed and underwater. So it's still not a very good situation.